Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Before we get started on today's incredible cake recipe, I just wanted to remind you guys in case you missed my last couple of episodes that my cookbook is now available for purchase if you already bought one. Thank you guys so, so much and I hope you enjoy all the incredible recipes in this book. If you haven't, I'm going to include a link down in the video description box below for where you can purchase this. Now I'm also going to be doing a personalized signed cookbook giveaway. It's going to be on my blog along with this recipe that I'll be showing you guys today make sure to head over to my blog and get entered so you have a chance to win a personalized copy and now on to today's simple and delicious cake recipe I'm going to show you guys how to make my orange and honey upside down cake now if you had a pineapple cake this is a similar concept but with oranges instead of pineapple and it is so good I'm going to add some orange marmalade and white chocolate directly into the cake batter then we're going to line the bottom of the pans with oranges add a little honey on there just phenomenal. I'm going to add a little bit of whipped cream between the layers to finish this cake off. It is absolutely delicious. For the cake batter, I've softened one cup of butter. To that, I'm going to add in just half a cup of sugar. I don't want to add too much sugar since I'll be adding white chocolate and orange marmalade. And then grab my hand mixer and cream this together for a couple minutes. Into my creamed butter and sugar mixture, I'll add in one cup of melted white chocolate chips and give that a mix for about a minute until that chocolate is well mixed. Then I'll add my eggs one at a time and give that a good mix after each addition. And time for the orange marmalade. I'm going to add about one cup. Then pour in one cup of milk and mix that in. Onto the dry ingredients, I've measured out two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'll add in four teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Give that a thorough mix, and make sure you sift those dry ingredients into the cake batter so you don't get any clumps. And then mix the flour into the batter just until it's incorporated anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Next, slice up an orange or two. You want just enough orange slices to cover the bottom of two eight inch pans. And you want your orange slices to be between an eighth and a quarter inch thick. I've lined two eight inch cake pans with parchment paper and I'm going to layer the orange slices along the edge first, working my way into the inside. and then drizzle a couple tablespoons of honey over the orange slices. Then divide that cake batter evenly between the two pans. And now these are ready to go into my preheated oven, which is set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake them for about 35 to 40 minutes. To check for the doneness, all you have to do is just insert a toothpick into the center, and when it comes out clean, your cake is ready to come out of the oven. These cake layers turned out seriously gorgeous. I love the orange slices that are kind of baked into the cake. Just let them cool off completely in the pan and then invert onto a cooling rack to cool further. And I prepared some simple whipped cream frosting. I'm going to include the recipe on my blog. Just click on the video description box below for the link. I'm going to pipe some generous dollops right on top. And then just add that second layer on top. For cutting this cake, I'm going to grab a sharp serrated knife, one that'll cut through the orange with ease. And I love the simplicity of this cake. It's so simple yet elegant. Can't wait to dig in and enjoy this. And that looks gorgeous. I'm gonna plate that and add a little bit of extra whipped cream on the side. And time to dig in and enjoy this cake. And I love to have a little extra whipped cream on the side. Mmm. If you love oranges, this upside down orange cake is for you. It is absolutely delicious and packed with so much orange flavor from the oranges that we added on top and the orange marmalade that we added into the cake batter. 
I also like that this cake, it's not too sweet, super simple. One of those cakes that you can just sit down and enjoy even in the morning with a cup of coffee. For the fall recipe, just head down into my video description box. You'll find a link there that will take you over to my blog. And while you're there, don't forget to enter my giveaway. I'm going to give away a personalized signed copy of my book. This uh, giveaway is open anywhere in the world. I will try my best to ship it to you guys, uh, to whoever the winner is. Good luck, guys, and thank you so much. I'll see you next time with another recipe.